Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16 and some really amazing features, which I believe to be some of the best and most useful features for iPhone users. Now the beta one of iOS 16 has been released and it's packed with new features, but some of them are actually very, very useful. And I believe iOS 16 users will use these features on daily basis. Now let me show you guys the top 10 iOS 16 features that are most useful for iPhone users. All right, first of all, we're talking about a new Siri feature. So whenever you want to reboot your iPhone, you will have to head on to the settings app and then go to general and then scroll down right here to shut down and you will have to basically shut down your device. And then of course, you will be able to boot it up again. Well, with iOS 16, all you have to do is ask Siri to do that. Now Siri can actually reboot your iPhone. Restart my iPhone. And just like that, I can confirm here and Siri will reboot my iPhone. This next feature is really interesting. You know, on iOS, you have announced notifications with Siri. Well, if you have AirPods or Beats, you can get notifications announced to you by Siri. Well, with iOS 16, you can do that even without headphones. You can do that through the speaker of your iPhone. So you go to settings, accessibility, and then find Siri right here. Scroll all the way down and here we'll have announced notifications to speaker. This will allow Siri to basically read out the notifications to you through the iPhone speaker. Now this right here is a very welcome feature. On iOS 15, you won't be able to do this. This is new on iOS 16. Well, you can browse your pictures by searching words that are on that picture. So if I search for dev right here, you can see it will show me all the pictures that contain that word and even highlight that. Now you can search like this on iOS 15 only on the spotlight search and the result is actually not that good. But with iOS 16, you can do that straight from the photos app and it's super, super useful. Now with iOS 16, Apple has also done a redesign of the default video player on iOS. Now what's one feature that I believe iOS 16 users will find very useful is the ability to skip forwards or go backwards by 10 seconds simply by swiping like this. So if you're holding your iPhone with one hand and you're watching a video, you don't have to actually just reach for the buttons here. You can just swipe like this to go forward or swipe here to go backwards. Moving on to what's of course the biggest feature of iOS 16, the new lock screen and the lock screen widgets. Now you can make these super useful. Like right there you can see I have the batteries for four different devices. So I have my iPhone, my AirPods, my, the AirPods case and also my Apple Watch. This is how you do that. You tap on customize. Now if you just add these widgets they will show the same device because it's on automatic and they will switch actually but what you can do to make this your own, you just go ahead and let me just remove here one of the widgets, you add a widget, once you have added it, you tap on it again and switch off the automatic. Now this is for the battery widgets, but this is available also for other widgets as well. Like for example, let's say weather, you can choose any city you want or stocks, you can choose like anything you want to display, you can do that with any of the widgets. So now I can go ahead and just pick whichever device I want to display there and I can have here the information for all my devices. And right there at the top, you will also have another widget. So you can see here at the top, if you tap where is the date, you can basically choose anything you want to see, like maybe your next alarm or something like a clock for, for another city. So you tap right there, you can just go ahead and add the clock for another city as easy as that. So this is super, super cool. You tap and hold here and it allows us to pick any city you want and display it right there at the top. So you can make the widgets actually your own and pick whatever you want they, they do display on the lock screen of your device. We have been asking Apple to let us undo an iMessage. We can do that now, but they go even further and let you even undo an email. This is a super useful feature. If you just send an email, you have written something by mistake or you just want to cancel it, you can go ahead and send an email right here and there it goes. Here's the button, undo send, just like that, it will bring it back. So now it's a draft, it's no longer send email, it's a draft and I can go ahead and of course maybe fix anything I want here or if I have forgotten something like an attachment or something, I can go ahead and add it back to the email. 
tap right there and I can undo this again. This is super, super useful. Of course, will be a lifesaver for a lot of users. Now, this is another feature that Apple has added to the files app that I believe is super useful. If you just go ahead and 3D touch on a file, you will now have quick actions. Now, what you can do here on the quick actions, you can mark up if it's a photo, you can mark it up, create a PDF out of it. You can convert an image right here on the files app or just remove the background of an image. You can see it shows right there the image without the background. That's super, super cool. Now, if I just want to convert an image, I can just go ahead and do it from here. So you can see what Apple does here. So I no longer need a third party app to remove background images and I no longer need an app to actually convert my images. I can do that from the files app here, choose the format from here and we're good to go. Choose the size, maybe large or medium or the original size, whatever you want. And there you have the new file. Moving on to the phone and the contacts app. Now, finally on iOS, we have lists of contacts. Now these are super, super useful. You have a list of contacts. Of course, maybe you have your list for work, your friends, your family, whatever you have, you can just manage them very easily from the phone app. You go to the phone app, you have your contacts, right? You will have all of your contacts at the top, then you will have your lists. Of course, you can choose here to remove any list or tap here to add a new list, which of course you can name right here and then just go ahead and head on into the list. And from here, you will be able to add any contact that you want. Once you have added that contact, you can use that list maybe to send messages to them or just to email them. You can do that super easy. So let's just go to one of the lists here. So here I have a list. If I want to email them, tap on the email right there and I will be able to actually email all of them directly from here. Now what I can do here is also add tap the plus button if I want to add more contacts to this list or I can just swipe like this to remove any of the contacts. With iOS 16, Apple has made it very easy for anyone to record a voice message. So you just tap there and you can keep recording without having to hold your finger there. But what's really cool is how you can just navigate through that voice message. So if you receive or send a voice message, whatever that is, you can just tap to play it. And right here, you can just scrub like that. You can see how easy it is. You can scrub around the message, go of course, backwards or forwards, whatever you want, simply by placing your finger there and just scrubbing around on that voice message. And last but not least are the new dictation features that Apple has added to iOS 16. This is super cool. So I can start dictating something right here. This is. And I can continue typing. So I don't have to actually even tap here. So this is a test. This is a test. This you can see I can continue typing right there as it's dictating at the same time. And if even if I just see something here that I have written by mistake, continue right here, you can see I can highlight continue and tap here and correct it. Stop. And you can see it will replace the word by dictating to it. It's super cool. And of course, once you get the hang of it, it will be super, super useful. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some that I believe are the best new features of iOS 16, which of course will be very, very useful to the everyday user. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.